Now, the lack of a flexible financing scheme for the automobile industry is a challenge that is likely to hinder the growth of the sector here in Ghana and other African countries. To fix this, there has to be some collaboration between government and financial institutions in order to get citizens to acquire brand new cars with ease. Now, according to Chief Executive of the Africa Association of Automotive Manufacturers, Dave Kofi, the situation demands more critical policies in order to move away from the over-importation of second-hand vehicles. First is, how does one create demand in mm. an auto industry in Africa? There, there's, and and the, real, the, the big issue is affordable financing. So uh, we need to introduce uh, affordable vehicle asset-based financing, and it needs the, the collaboration between the, the finance sector, the vehicle manufacturers, and, and government to get that right. The, 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 next, the next issue is, is uh, second-hand vehicles. Mm. So there's... You know, there's more than 80% of vehicles in Africa sold are second-hand vehicles, and not all those vehicles are safe. And it's very important to, to ensure that vehicles coming into Africa are roadworthy. Uh, and, and that's actually that, that's crucial. And, and then the other key component is, uh, is the political will to introduce such a policy, because some tough decisions have to be made around second-hand vehicles, right. and obviously legislating the requirements to allow the industry to work. So those are the key, key issues. And that's all in business. More news on our website, myjoyonline.com forward slash business.